and it's still me, Dave. It's the One Up Gaming episode 358 of the One Up Gaming podcast, and we're going to go straight into this week's news. And uh, it's, I'm just going to quickly go through some of the stuff that we've had this week. Oh, my neck that cracked. That was nice. So we will just. Eee, what am I doing? I don't know. Right here we go. So we will just go straight into. It looks so Jennifer Garner will reportedly return as Elektra in Deadpool 3. So in a massive surprise casting, Jennifer Garner is apparently returning as Elektra for Deadpool 3. Garner first played the famous assassin all the way back in 20, 20, uh, 2005's Elektra, which was a bad movie. While the movie both flopped at the box office and was torn apart by critics, Garner's performance was generally praised. Was it? I thought it was bad. It marks reunion for Garner with Deadpool 3 star Ryan Reynolds and director Sean Levy, who all previously worked together on Netflix's The Adam Project. Oh, was she in that? Deadpool 3 is currently in the thick of production as returning star Stefan uh, Capi 6 confirmed in May and uh, as onset photos had started to circulate online. Although many productions have halted amid the ongoing writer strike, Marvel Studios is moving forward with Deadpool 3, whose script was complete before work stoppage was called in May. Uh, Deadpool 3's uh, blah, 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 3rd of May 2024. Production, however, would likely be impacted if SAG AFTRA calls for a strike. The Guild representing Hollywood's actors recently delayed its deadline with studios until blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? Uh, are you interested in the Deadpool movie? Uh, are you looking forward to the Deadpool y things? Because I liked Deadpool, and I guess we'll just have to wait and see what new things happen with all this. Um, so we'll go to the next bit of news, and that is the first look at Wolverine and Deadpool in Deadpool 3. So Ryan Reynolds has released his first look at Wolverine and Deadpool in Deadpool 3. So that is the photo there, and as you can see, Deadpool looks very Deadpool, and Wolverine looks very cool in his yellow and blue sort of outfit. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it looks as though fans have waited more than two decades to see him in the yellow and yellow suit and mask, and it looks as though they will finally get to see that on um, this movie coming. So, what do you guys think? Are you excited for that? Um, are you actually really looking forward to the Deadpool movie with these little tidbits of information that Ryan Reynolds has sprinkling down um, to see how things are going? Um, so we'll go to the next bit of news, and that is Kit Harrington says he was never meant to be in Marvel's Blade. Um, so basically at the Superior Comic Con in San Antonio, Harrington confirms his character has been lined up to take the sword and become the Black Knight. Uh, he was saying, the honest answer is, I think that's the intention with the character. However, I also he also confirmed that he won't be Marvel's upcoming Blade, despite signs that he would be. But that's like a lot of these things are, and a lot of them say they're not doing this and not doing that, but they end up being in things. Um, uh, God, I don't know. Was was it just me? Was Eternals an absolute garbage fest of a movie? I thought it was really bad. Um, but anyway, we'll skip all that because I weren't a big fan. So we'll go to the next bit of news, and that is <clears throat> James Gunn promises Doom Patrol season four part two will be released. James Gunn has confirmed Doom Patrol's final episodes are on the way, even though Season 4 Part 2 does not have a release date yet. Some fans have expressed concerns over the fate of Doom Patrol amid past cancellations of high-profile DC projects and the mass exodus of content from Max. However, Gunn has promised the show's remaining episodes have not been shelved and will be available to stream at some point in the future. 
He was saying Doom Patrol's episodes are absolutely not being shelved, even though the premiere date for the next shows haven't hasn't yet been announced to the public. Uh, it's, but like I say, they were cutting like Batgirl. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I loved Doom Patrol season one, and season two was good. Season three, I wasn't a big fan of. Um, so I might actually watch this season four and see how it kind of because this is probably going to be the end of it I'd have a guess um, but yeah we will go into the next bit of news and that is more gaming and Street Fighter 6 sales hit 2 million and Rashid gameplay revealed so Street Fighter 6 has sold over 2 million units in just over a month uh, got off to a strong start with over a million sold over launch weekend uh, total sales for Street Fighter franchise now tops over 50 million. Capcom said single player features such as the World Tour Story Mode and the new modern control type were designed to appeal to a broad range of players and have contributed to Street Fighter 6's success. IGN gave the game a 9 out of 10. I think we gave it a 9 out of 10 as well. Street Fighter 6 is the most feature rich uh, Street Fighter has ever been at launch, but even beyond that, its roster of Aiden characters is excellent. The new mechanics revitalise the one-on-one -on -one fighting formula and it absolutely nails all the little things that make for a stellar fighting game. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Um, I mean, I think Street Fighter 6 is an amazing game. I do love that single player sort of game that they've got. Um, the World Tour sort of mode, which is amazing. Um, so, next up. EA returns to MMA with UFC 5. EA has announced a return to mixed martial arts video games with UFC 5 in a bare bones tweet that promises more information in September. Coming soon with the logo. Yay. Um, so yeah, it's it's not really got much information there as it, it hasn't got much. It is funny how um, the UFC games are getting like three, getting four, you know, every kind of couple of years. What's happened to the Fight Night games? You know, the Fight Night games were quite fun. And I think it got to Fight Night, was it Fight Night Champion? I think, was that the last one that they did? And it's just sad. They, they could have like one every year, couldn't they really? So next up, it looks as though EA have announced the Black Panther game from the same... Uh, f uh, from some of the developers behind Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Uh, it is confirmed the heavily rumoured Black Panther game in, is in development at Cliffhanger Games with some of the people behind. <laughs> Bless me. Um, yeah. We don't need to know more of that, do we? It's, I was going to say Street Fighter, but it's not. It's, oh, I just sneezed. I might have muted that out. I don't know. Um... But yeah, right, let's have a look. That's the next one. So, yeah, I don't know. Is it? Are they just milking all these Marvel stuff before the go pop? Because a lot of the movies recently have been pretty bad as well. Anyway, we'll move on. So, it's official. Sega America has unionized. Irvine and Burbank offices vote overwhelmingly to unionize. Unionize under. Communications Workers of America. Uh, more than 200 workers working out of the company's offices in Irvine and Burbank voted today to unionize, uh, which is represented by the Communications Workers of America. Elections took place on July 10th with 91 voting yes and 26 voting no. There were also 19 challenged ballots and 3 void ballots. It encompass, encompassed Workers in departments including brand marketing, games as a service, localization, marketing, product development, sales, quality assurance, and others. Sega of America workers announced you, uh, you, the union back in April with demands including higher base pay, improved benefits, and clear opportunities for creative advancement. Um, we won. Yeah, so during. This will be the start of a lot more unionizations in games, or is it just one of those like freaky ones that just 
came out of nothing. Uh, I guess we'll see in a few months time, see what happens moving forward. Uh, got another bit of news now and that is Old Sonic. Uh, so Sonic co-creator Yuji Naka has given a suspended prison sentence for insider trading. Yuji Naka, co-creator of the Sonic the Hedgehog series and former boss of Sonic Team at Sega, was given a suspended prison sentence. 57-year-old Naka was found guilty of violating Japan's financial instruments and of an exchange act for insider trading in connection with the development of a game for publisher Square Enix. Following the trial held at the Tokyo District Court, uh, Judge uh, Madoka Hiruta issued a two and a half year prison sentence suspended for four years, as well as two fines of approximately $14,000 and $1.1 million. Oof, second one's quite good. Uh, it was arrested in November for suspected insider trading relating to an investment made um, working at Square Enix. He allegedly bought 10,000 shares in developer aiming at the value of around 20,000 ahead of the announcement of the Dragon Quest tacked mobile game in partnership with Square Enix. Insider trading is the buying and selling of stocks with confidential and non-public information, usually with the intention to make money and it is illegal in Japan. So, yeah. So at least he got away with not going to prison. That's the main thing, I guess. Um, and the last bit of news that we have here is <clears throat> get the recorder get the <clears throat> so the internet has a lot of opinions about Brad Pitt's Formula One movie um, well the car in, um, so basically he's gearing up to head out onto the racetrack to start filming between practice sessions at Silverstone during the British Grand Prix this weekend Pitt is set to star alongside uh, Damson Idris don't know who that is in the upcoming Formula 1 feature from Top Gun Maverick director Joseph Kaczynski. In the movie, Pitt plays former F1 driver Sonny Hayes, who returns to racing in a bid to mentor a young racer to victory for the fictional Apex GP team. Even at this early stage, it looks like his car has already gone for a spin, as the official F1 Twitter page dropped the image of Pitt's new wheels. So it's I'll just keep on the picture. So basically, it's like a golden black. It looks very much like the Haas racing car from a couple of years ago. Um, but the a lot of the memes at the minute are saying it looks just like a uh, Duracell battery, you know, black with the gold. But yeah, what do you guys think? Are you excited? Are you interested in this movie? Let us know in the comments. So we're going to have a quick break and we'll come back with the top 40. So see you in two minutes. Well, five seconds. I don't know. It's quick, isn't it?